We're here with Scott Ruschenberg at Tucson Raceway Park, and he's here for the the Kisa Challenge 150. Scott, what exactly brought you out to this race? Uh, sunny in January. The bowl games are over. Um, college football is like my passion, but like racing's funner. So we thought it'd be a good time to kick the year off, get prepared for the showdown, get it, you know, get a new car that we took down at the end of last year, and get it ready for this race, and maybe have an opportunity to go to uh, Africa, either rear, me or Ron Norman. Did you have a chance to practice yesterday? Yeah, we got out only two sessions because, you know, as you know, when you build a new car, we had to take time to shake it down. And uh, we had a rear end leak. We also had a, a transmission leak. And then uh, it was overheating. We had some bubbles in the radiator. We had to bleed that out. So it seemed like every session we went out, we were, you know, breaking in. And it's, it's an old car, but because we took it completely apart at the end of the season in November and then rebuilt it through December to get it ready for here, you know, it's, we had some bugs we had to shake out of it. So. Um, what type of spring and shock are you using on the right, car today? Right now we're running uh, just the old AFCO oil shock uh, that they make. Uh, it's uh, no recharge, no canisters. You can get for 125 bucks. How does it do? It's doing fine. I mean, right now I think we're second quick on the grid. Um, I, the one thing I do notice is because Mark, to accommodate some of the bigger cars with the bigger motors, um, added 150 pound star cars. So it's, I've noticed that the car's a little bit more sluggish. I'm not running the times I'm used to, but I, I, it's still competitive compared to what everybody else has. And um, as far as all the different cars that are running here today, what's that? As, as far as the other cars that are running here today, any car have a real advantage? You know, I, I don't see it. I thought Darren Robertson, the number 11 car, would be the one to beat because when I had a chance of running him at CNS, he was blazing fast, and so we were a little worried about, and Furniture Row, I mean, everybody knows who they are. They got Dave Capriotti behind them and their motors, and which Rick Corelli, you know, I mean, the High Plains Drifter used to run, and they're very fast. So we were concerned about them and how our crates would do with all the added weight, but we seem to be very, it's, all the cars are very, very equal right now. I think it's great. Any particular driver that you view as your toughest competition on the track? Yeah, I think if you got to look at who's here today, it's five-time track champion Ron Norman. Um, kind of, we're kind of co-driving this year together. He's in my car from two years ago, and right now he's faster than I am. So he's, uh, we're right there. He's one tenth quicker than we are right now. And I think anytime you come out here, Ron Norman will always have a presence and be running up front. Where do you normally race, Scott? What's that? Where do you normally race? Um, normally, um, I don't really have a normal. I know that sounds kind of goofy. I kind of got into racing late, and I've I, last two years I've had a chance to tour the country and run some ASA late model shows, some USLMA shows. We had a chance to run probably my favorite track of all time was Nashville Speedway, the fairgrounds that you know that's in risk of closing or maybe closing. Uh, we got a chance to run it last year, and that was probably my biggest treat. We ran Iowa Speedway last year. Uh, we had a chance to run Bristol, South Georgia. Um, we also ran Winchester and uh, in Indianapolis Raceway Park. But when I'm not anywhere, I would probably say Tucson Raceway Park it would be my home track. We got four or five events here last year. How do you normally fare here? Down here, um, uh, this last year we had out of the four or five races, I finished in the top five every race except one. I got taken out on a restart. And uh, we had two wins. And uh, in 08, we won the track championship, and we also won the uh, state championship all in one for when it was the last year was NASCAR. And it was kind of abbreviated season. I was kind of bummed because obviously the financial times, we missed uh, four races to complete the season, but I had a 150-point lead, and NASCAR called up and said we met the minimum qualifications, and so, uh, you know, we won the title. So I was, I was thankful for that. What are you going to do if you win tonight? What are you going to do with the 5,000? Oh what do you gosh. think about the Kisa? Uh, well, the 5,000, we're going to split it with the crew guys. They have been working night and day to get this car ready. And I mean night and day. There's been many nights the last two to three weeks. They've been in the shop between 1.30 and 4.30 in the morning and then come back at 7 or 8. So um, they have just been ballers. And so I, I got to take care of those guys. And uh, as far as the Fakisa goes, you know, we'll put money in. It's the tire bill. It was almost, you know, 1200 1400 bucks. So it'll be kind of a break even after I take care of them. And as far as Fakisa goes, you know, we'll see and see how it fares. Um, Ron or I, one of us will be going because one of us are going to the showdown. So we're going to talk about that afterwards. I mean, he has a good chance of winning too. So um, every, anybody does here. That's the cool part about it. But one of us, if one of us win, one of us will be going to Fakisa for sure. So I think it's too hard opportunity to pass it. Yeah. 
and what about sponsors? Who's on board with you today? Uh, this year we've got uh, two new, three new sponsors. Uh, Fat Yard, which is a premium high-end uh, patio furniture company that's uh, new. Uh, they're launching in patio here in Arizona. They're also launching uh, over in Las Vegas and in L.A. simultaneously in two different patio stores. Uh, Leslie's Pools is looking at possibly carrying them out of their catalog line. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Kent, uh, Lucas Oil, who's been helpful with us with all their products and uh, uh, help us every year and has been generous the past three seasons. Uh, I want to thank Elite Care, which has uh, also been on board for us for three seasons and been fantastic. And been at the, We've got some of uh, the people from Elite Care will be at the stands tonight. And then Wholesale Lithographs uh, handles all our printing needs. And then actually the newest sponsor this year on board, I think my car is one of the prettiest cars. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, Cortez um, Signs and Graphics came on board and said, let us wrap all three of your cars. So we have our SRL car this year that we'll be up in Roseville with. And uh, we're going to run up there the opening race. They wrap that car. They wrap this car. And then they wrap my US LMA car. So I think we'll be, you know, looking good at the start of the season. For fans that want to look you up, follow you, um, how could they do that? Um, we have a website. It's not up to date. We need to get it up to date. It was at the end of last year because we're starting this year. But uh, we're at JPU. Uh, racing.com and uh, JPU stands for Just Past You and so uh, it's kind of an acronym we've been having fun with. We came up with a drink in one night after a race that we'd won and uh, um, you can get there or you can uh, call anytime. I'd love to get back uh, you know, or on the website at Racing West. I have a little link that, that heads out to our website so you can go that way as well. Thank you very much and good luck to you tonight. Absolutely. It was great finally getting to meet you, Janet, and it was fun to have an opportunity to be part of Racing West. Great. Thank Glad you, you came so much. out. And I heard you canceled a trip, so thank you. I did. <laughs> uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. It is. It All already right. is. Thank you very that. much, Scott. You bet.